Right, <clears throat> well there we are, a bit of... I've just took the um, cover off there, Just it, it just snapped back on, so don't worry, just so I can get a bit better access to the wheels. So, so yeah, a bit of fine tuning and I've got a really decent picture out of this thing. I just wished I could show you without the flickering, but there's nothing I can really do about that, unfortunately. But yeah, um, amazing, they built these things to last, they really did. So now we know that the set will the set's receiver works. Uh, what we're going to do now is get a, an analog signal, an analog TV signal, into it, um, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. I think anyway. I'll just kill that for a minute. All right. So we know that works. Just turn the volume down a little bit. Right. So what the so way we're going to get. Um, uh, an analog signal in, in into that um, is from the sky box, not that sky box, actually the sky box that's downstairs. And what we have actually got is there's a few of my other tellies which will feature in some other videos. Obviously, a bit more modern. I mean, look at the contrast. <laughs> so um, I've actually got that plugged into into this telly at the moment. So if we take that out of there, now we've got one of the old RF. Um, Sky Sky TV links, um, which in the early days of Sky Digital, you could actually um, it was the only way you could get the Sky picture into your bedroom TV. So I've got one of the old Sky TV links there, and if you remember, they come with a magic, not a magic, um, a remote, a, a remote. Oh, so you could actually change channel from upstairs as well. I'm not that should be here somewhere. I don't know where that is. Um, but I'm not too worried about that at the minute. Uh, let's just unplug.